Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the official Sierra Droid 5.1 for a Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus codenamed as Wins. And it's based on the Lineage of 16 latest source changes and latest kernel. So without wasting more time, let's start. So okay, starting with the launcher, you can see we get this quick step launcher. And when you move into settings, we get the home screen settings. So first, let's take a look at the home screen. You can see like all normal stuff from the home screen. Then the icons. Oops, shit. Icons you can see add icon home screen, icon packs, icon shapes, icon size, then the app draw you can see you can also hide apps, then gestures. We have the double tap gesture, notification gesture, and clear all from recent views. So which is a really awesome gesture you can see. This is the notification gesture and clear all from recent views is just gesture like if you had yeah, like you have to open two or more apps, so you can see. Like swipe down and it will clear all everything now moving towards the app drawer you can see we get this lineage os based apps and all of the other apps have been installed you can see all this music uh, audio effects and everything also it has direct support which i'm going to show you and we have two cameras the one is the miui camera your normal miui camera you can see uh, miui camera is present and portrait and all but i don't know if portrait really works like we have single camera so it is actually just software if it works or not i have see like you can see video short video everything works fine like slow motion and all you can see if i switch to time lapse it works nice slow motion also works so there is like uh, nothing it's not working and like but you can see everything works fine so it's like it's absolutely good but for the non MIO cam lovers, we have G cam also present in this ROM. So both of the cameras are present, but the name is similar like camera package. So you can see G cam also works really well. And G cam has that portrait from uh, Google stuff. So yeah, the portrait works really fine on G cam. Now moving into the settings, as you can see, we get this uh, CR dot settings down here and it's classified like absolutely well classified and also it is similar to the classifications of rr like the ui overall of the cr dot settings and you can see the first is a status bar and we get all stuff related to status bar one thing i like about this rom is the classification of customization it's really neat and clean as you can see quick settings you can see you get all the quick setting stuff lock screen we have this lock screen stuff battery info music visualizer face auto unlock and fingerprint authentication vibration also we have this recent style quick step you can see pi settings uh, this pi control the navigation bar pulse everything is here like carbon gestures swipe gestures and system gestures then we have the buttons you can see advanced restart power menu like you can customize the buttons hardware buttons and stuff then we have the user interface ambient display blur blur is only for quick settings for now but other stuff will be added like the recent and all and font google sans i'm using rounded corners it's much needed for the redmi 5 plus then we have the notifications you can see led light sound and stuff and uh, here we have the miscellaneous of like source view info toast icon and pocket detection like these are the some and you can also customize this media scanner behavior so like if you don't want to scan media then it's absolutely we have suspend actions really awesome feature it's present here that's good then we have about share droid and you can see change log translations everything else then here we have updates and you can check for updates so automatic update is available and you can see no update is available now so whenever an update is available then you can like download it from here and flash it now guys let's check the uh, security patch and kernel so into about phone you can see android 9 and you can see the cr dot version 5.1 android version 9 security patch is 5 february 2019 and we have a 4.9 kernel which is a really great improvement like this is a really awesome kernel 4.9 and 4.9 tag itself is like it is ported from like some big device but yeah you can see the 4.9 kernel is really really well performance like towards the performance and gaming so the gaming is really better with it and you can see it's a beast kernel by mdj so that's really a great thing so yeah now moving into performance and battery life i've used this rom like for like two three days and the last screen on time screenshots i took was like 29 hours ago 8 hours 42 minutes for like from full 100 to 0 you can see youtube is used a lot like i play a lot of youtube videos on this phone and pubg mobile telegram you can see and some other like apps for that but you can see pubg mobile is used uh, like for 1 hour 30 minutes i don't play pubg a lot in like in both of my devices the wired and wins uh, because like 
टू आवर्स और लेस इट इज लाइक ऑलवेज वन आवर और टू आवर्स सो नॉट मोर देन दैट लाइक फोर फाइव आवर्स सो दैट इज माई यूजेज एंड इट्स रियली परफेक्ट फॉर लाइक अ यूजर लाइक मी विद गेमिंग एंड मीडियम यूजेज सो फॉर अ हेवी यूजर यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट सेवन टू एट आवर्स ऑफ इजी स्क्रीन ऑन टाइम विद अ डे यू लाइक फुल डे यूजेज सो दैट इज अबाउट द बैटरी एंड थिंग ऑल्सो वी गॉट एंड टू बेंच मार्क्स कोर्स इट्स आर रियली ऑसम And better than M I U I, you can see eighty one thousand two one two for Snapdragon six twenty five, and yeah, you can like compare it with other. But I always care about the real life performance than the Android benchmark scores. Now, guys, talking about the PUBG performance, you can see it's like absolutely better here. Like I'm using this Naya training here, and you can see there are no that much flaws. Like it is a laggy bit, uh, but I've compared it to the Pixel experience, and it's same. But if I have like, but if I compare it to the Havoc and Resurrection, it makes it absolutely better. Like there are no drops here and there. It's uh, yeah, it's not lagging. Also, I'm getting good uh, uh, speed, uh, so that's really awesome. So you can see, uh, just lagging. Let's uh, check uh, after some time. Jumping, doing some activities, uh, getting guns and all. So. Yeah, like if I have done a gameplay of one hour and twenty minutes, absolutely, I'm loving this. It's not only a twenty minute gameplay, so yeah, that is it for the PUBG gameplay. And I know I haven't played matches or like that, and also I have a gaming channel now, a gaming dedicated channel. It's in the description and also linked here, so you can like go and subscribe there, and I'll start live streams and gameplay soon on that. So yeah, and never mind, this is the PUBG gameplay. For this uh, ROM, yeah, it's okay. It's not lagging. I have played a lot, like played a lot on this phone. So yeah, it's not. So guys, this ROM is best in customizations, like minimal amount of customizations which is required is available. Also, gaming and performance really well because of the 4.9 kernel. So I suggest users who are really uh, towards gaming, performance, and battery. Try out this ROM and give feedback about it because it's really awesome. Like I'm the maintainer of this ROM. This is not a clear review of it. Like I'm just speaking about my ROM, but yeah, it's a really good deal. But still, if you want some more customizations, you can always go for Havoc and Resurrection Mix. And if you want some plain stuff, you can always go for Pixel Experience. Like always, I say. So all ROMs are really great, but this is one. With the manual customization, with a hope towards powerful performance in gaming. So, as you guys for the video, if you guys really like this video, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on the Redmi 5 Plus wins and the Redmi Note 5 Pro Wired, and also various uh, devices will be coming up in future. So, subscribe for that. Also, I'm going to buy Redmi Note 7 Pro, the 48 megapixel one, the Indian variant. So, if you are one of them. We're going to like just buy that just in case. Just subscribe to this channel. So yeah, with this saying, like I'm just going to bye bye. I'll see you guys in the next video. And about the installation, it's really easy. Go to TWP Recovery, wipe the all shit, is a uh, wipe all that stuff uh, like really leaving internal storage and SD card and just flash the ROM and GX. So bye bye. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.